Well, welcome to the back to the channel. Much appreciate for you joining me this afternoon. And uh, yeah, we're on something different today. We're on the uh, the new 2021 SH Mode 125, and it's a learner legal. <laughs> Even still got the L plates on there, so uh, we're all camered up. Let's jump on and uh, give her a whirl. Right, the weather's not brilliant today. Uh, so anyway, turn the push this in the button there. Turn it around to there, she fires, pulls in, springs into life there, brake in, oh, we're away. Automatic gearbox this as well, so nice and easy to ride. I'll just set those mirrors up a little bit before we uh, get rolling. A little bit of vibey there through the mirrors already. <laughs> Not that has to be expected anyway. Um, right, hold on, here we go. Well, so very easy to ride these. Uh, nothing coming. Actually, that road's closed down that way, so we're going to have to take a, a different route today. Yeah, the weather's not brilliant. Uh, we're just going to have to make the most of what we've got today. Uh, first impressions, once we get rolling, um, comfortable. This would make a good all-round, everyday sort of commuter bike, this. Um, lovely colour, this one. I think this is the Jasmine... Jasmine White, I think this one. But yeah, uh, we'll get rolling once these lights change and give her a whirl. Here we go. Nice and smooth there. Plenty of leg room here as well. Plenty of leg room there for you. I think that's uh, been improved actually on this model. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it has. Turn the indicator off. No self cancelling indicators. Oh, put, put her in the middle there. I was pushing the button there to try and cancel I'm too used to my triumph a little bit windy today so hopefully you can hear me the indicator's still on there oh there you go she's off oh yeah it is very windy today <laughs> oh, well yeah it's nice to be out on something different like I say you don't need to be out on 1000cc uh, sport bikes and uh, if you're interested in the bike which is the Honda SH mode 125 very popular in demand, this, uh, I believe. Like I say, it would make a good commuter bike. Or if you wanted to just nip down the shops and uh, it's even got a little, little hook there <laughs> to hang your shopping bags on. So we'll take a left here. Hopefully the heavens aren't going to open up. Brakes are very good, actually. Got a single disc hydraulic brake on the front and uh, drum brakes on the rear. The indicator's off. It's a keyless, keyless machine, this as well. So uh, you don't have to be messing around with a key. It's very easy to start. I just uh, showed, showed you the process there. And uh, I think this also locks as well when you walk away from it. Pretty sure. It's got like a, the Honda Smart key. I'm not going to go too crazy. The roads are a little bit damp. <laughs> if there's such a thing as going crazy on a, a 125. Yeah, this has still got the L plates on, this one. <laughs> it's been a long while since I've rode a bike with L plates on, but there you go. <laughs> yeah. Button cluster. Very minimalistic there, got all you need. Uh, high beam, low beam, horn. No one about to bother there, so indicators there as well. That's your start. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, this has got your auto start stop, so when you stop, if you've got that on, that'll uh, cut the engine out. And that's just, just yeah, you can disable that there by turning that off. And then your light has just gone off on there, actually. Same as the Honda Goldwing, I think, with a start-stop technology. Uh, yeah, down here is your start button. Obviously, I just showed you, pull the, pull, the, pull the rear brake in and press the button. Once the switch is in the right configuration. Uh, what we got on here, display-wise, yeah, very minim minimalistic here. We've got... Uh, you can't see a little warning, few warning lights there, engine management, uh, light, uh, temperature light, key, the key uh, light there. Hello, sir. Um, yeah, they'd obviously illuminate should you, uh, should they have to, should they need to if you, for warning. Here, obviously, you've got your speedo. Um, outside, the dial there is miles per hour, inside is kilometres. Nice little logo there, SN, oh, sorry, SH mode down below you've got your lc little lcd display there so you've got a bit of analog and a bit of lcd going on 
uh, the time, the nice sort of fuel gauge there, and mileage, your trip, A and B, I think you can toggle through A and B on that button there, yeah, A and B, so your total mileage, it's only done 600 mile, it's got an actual warning like there, so saying no, it requires an oil change, well, speed bump here, let it go easy, suspension's actually quite, uh, not too bad, not too bad. Tele telescopic forks on the front, this is, you know, your basic forks. Like I say, it's not always about, you know, on, on, on you know, on, in motorcycling, it's, it's all, it, a lot of the time it's all about the freedom that, you know, the, the motorcycling gives you. And uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be out on a, you know, I mean, I, I'm lucky enough to ride a lot of models of uh, motorcycle, but it's nice just to get out and uh, relax and enjoy the ride, although it's not that warm today. There's no temperature gauge on here to tell me what the temperature is, but I'm sure it's single figures. <laughs> yeah. Well, crossing, what's the suspension like over here? Yeah, okay. No real problems there with that. Make sure my camera's still on there. <laughs> um, yeah, so all in all, very nice machine. I think it's coming in at 2,849, I think. I will go through the specs, so... Stay tuned and we'll pull over soon. Just find a lovely spot to pull over and I'll run through the bike. Give you a three, full 360 of the machine. And uh, go through all of the specifications as usual. Actually, I thought the mirrors were going to vibrate a lot more than that when I first got on the bike and started up. They started, oh, there's some air in. They did start vibrating there, but they're actually, you know, in normal riding, very good really. Visibility's visibility's very good. You can see my elbows a little bit in my shoulders, but nothing unusual there. We've got very good visibility. So yeah, it's a single cylinder 125cc uh, motorcycle with a centrifugal uh, club, you know, drive. I think it's gonna give you around about I think 12. It's either 11 or 12 <laughs> brake horsepower, but it is a learner bike, obviously. And, uh, yeah, that's all you need. Matt, I'm only doing sort of 50 mile an hour, and I say it's very smooth, very nice and um, smooth over these. It's quite a bumpy road I'm on here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. There's plenty more coming to the channel. Love to have you along. Uh, I don't just do bike reviews, I, you know, I just do random ride outs. But yeah, lots of new reviews coming to the channel where possible, although the weather is turned, sort of taking a turn from work, turn for the worse as you can see today. But fingers crossed, you know, I've got plenty more little ride outs we can do. Yeah, it comes in three different colours. And I think that is actually the same price for all, you know, all the individual colours where a lot of the other so a lot of other models they tend to have a base price you know starting from and going up you know for various different colors there'll be optional extras for this bike as well through genuine honda accessories uh, you know top boxes that type of thing not sure if you can get heated grips or we'll take a left here not saying i'll find actually no we'll go straight on for a change we'll go straight on little bit of oil in the road there, or fuel. Keep well clear of that. Last thing we want to be doing is uh, going shiny side down on the roads. <laughs> that wouldn't be good, would it? But yeah, get yourself over to the local dealers. If you fancy uh, a test ride on one, I'm sure they'll be happy to uh, oblige. I'll say thanks Honda today for the loan of the bike in order to bring you this review today. It's much appreciated by honest sort of opinion on uh, of my first ride really and it is very comfortable it does actually have and we will go through it I know I keep saying it but we will go through this so stay tuned when I pull over we'll go through it in more detail but you've got little uh, sort of little glove box there and inside there you've got a sort of a traditional USB uh, socket there as well so uh, ideal ideal for charging your devices, your mobile phone or what have you. Plenty of room under the seat as well. We'll have a look under there with that actually. 
obviously that's where you, you could uh, store your helmet should you want to when you park the bike up and also get to your filler cap for refueling again that's keyless as well it's keyless uh, access to that so as long as you uh, I think you have to move the switch around this switch around into another position now, I don't know if you saw when I first went to start the bike but you, you actually push the switch in and then you, you, you turn it so it's getting a bit dark and dingy at the moment so uh, not the best of weathers lo lots of leaves and rubbish and gravel in the roads here oh go nice and easy round here <laughs> like I say I don't want to be uh, sliding off I don't know what it's got as far as electronics but I should think it's just probably got the ABS being uh, Euro 5 compliant it's one of the uh, suspect you know the things they have to comply with I think for Euro 5 is you know ABS and what have you but yeah overall really very impressed for you know uh, a learning machine like I say it's not you know, it's, a, it's, a it's not a manual it's all fully automatic so you just literally get on start her up and twist and go nice and smooth there on the on the performance on the on the throttle Actually, we've got the throttle fully open at the moment, and we're still we're still increasing in uh, speed there. Actually, 60 mile an hour there, which is ample for what you need on these roads here. And as a you know, as a commuter bike, so it's not it's not like you're going to be going down the road at 100 mile an hour on this. So uh, it is uh, it, it is what it is, and you know Honda. And, so with their range, it's not all about the high end bikes. I mean, they sell literally these in the thousands so you know along with the the other models i think this is one of the one of their best sellers so uh like i say i, I you know they're, they're very very uh very very got spit it out reasonably priced gotta be careful here it's a terrible uh bend yeah well we'll just pull over in a little bit not for much further we'll pull over and i'll give you a full thorough walk around of the bike and uh, I'll run through those uh, specifications. Loads of room here as well for your feet. Very comfortable. I like say it is a learner bike, so I am. It is on L plates. Not that you know I need L plates. Well, you, some people might, might say otherwise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I take it this is for you know for new riders to. It's all ready for a new rider to jump on and and take out. Right, I'm going to take a right here. I've just seen a diversion sign there. I just got caught out earlier, actually. The brakes are very good. Come on, then. Get moving. Right, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> Turn the indicator off. You just push the, push the indicator button in to cancel the indicator. It's actually quite, you know, picks up speed very, very well, very smoothly. Nice bit of acceleration there. So I've got the throttle wide open, 55, that's 60. I'll lay off a bit. Through here, you never know who's going to pull out on you. We'll check the brakes out actually. Yeah, that's very good. You, can't, you know, it's very, very light and manoeuvrable so far. And I've got, not got any complaints. it is uh, very very windy so we're, we're we're sort of going uphill now kind of into the wind it feels we're getting a lot of wind buffer and we're not the speed is obviously sitting at just above 50 mile an hour there so like I say just enough you know, over the hill over the brow and down we go and she's starting to roll up roll up there you go 60 mile an hour very easy to read this screen, you know, this uh, display there. So all analog, but you have got the digital display down here. It's quite dim, quite, uh, it's fairly dim that, but you can read it. I don't know if there's a setting actually on here where you could, you know, increase that, that brightness maybe. I'll say without looking at the instruction book or having to fiddle about, I'm not going to fiddle with it while I'm riding the bike. <laughs> Let me know. Could you, you know, are you in the market for a one little 125? 
you know, maybe as an additional bike uh, to add to the collection. I said they're not expensive. Well, I said they're not expensive. It depends on your your finances, you know, and what you. No, but, as, but as far as bikes go, they're not. You know, it's not an expensive motorcycle. Got to find somewhere to pull over, really. Anyway, not to cause any hassle out the way. Come on, sir, get yourself around the corner. Well, I think there's a little little slip off just up here on the left, out the way. Oh yeah, that is very windy today. I know I keep saying it, but I'm getting blown about quite a lot. <laughs> Lovely colour this as well. I think that's metallic. A little road here. What have we got here? Uh, we could have gone down there. I think there's another road off here to the left. We'll take the left here. It's probably someone's driveway. Hopefully not. If it is, it's a long one. <laughs> the brakes are very good. So we'll go down here a little bit just to keep out the way. And uh, we'll jump off the bike. Uh, that'll do just here. Turn around. So what she like to turn and circle? Oh, I'll just sort of try braking with the rear brake there. Well, there you go. All right, okay. So I've got no neutral to worry about. Like I say, it's automatic. Side stand, very easy. We'll turn the bike off actually there with this switch. And uh, we'll jump off and uh, we'll give you a walk around of the bike. So here we have it, the Honda SH Mode 125, which is uh, coming in at £2,849. Uh, it's a 125 cc, as I've said before, single cylinder, liquid cooled, single overhead cam, four stroke, with the uh, electric start there, and uh, uh, yeah, basically it's an automatic centrifugal dry clutch with uh, a V belt arrangement. So uh, it's all over this side here tucked away down there so you've got enhanced yeah esp plus enhanced smart power so yeah very nice tidy looking bike there engine will give you 11 brake horsepower at 8750 rpm and a whopping 12 newton meters of torque at 5000 rpm the weight of the bike uh, the curb weight is 118 kilograms that's the curb weight fuel tank uh is a 5.5 litre fuel tank which is tucked away under the seat there we will have a look under there in a minute giving you a claimed 47.6 kilometres per mile uh, uh sorry per litre so in my, in my maths is saying that's about 110 miles per gallon i might be wrong let me know you can see the bike there with the l plates on can't you <laughs> uh, yeah seat height uh perfect it's a 765 millimetre seat height so no issues for me with that. Uh, front brakes, you've got 220 millimetre um, hydraulic uh, single caliper there. Obviously, on the you don't obviously need nothing too too uh, uh, major there. Uh, the rear brake is 130 millimetre drum, so uh, drum brakes on the rear, which is tucked away down down in there. You can see the actual lever there. Uh, there can't you uh, suspension yeah telescopic forks on the front there I had no issues with it with the suspension and the rear is a single uh, sorry is a swinging arm type unit uh, shock so yeah there you go there no problems wheels your front wheel is a 16 inch and the rear is a 14 inch wheel on the rear cast aluminium uh, lighting right okay uh, lighting we've got uh, LED front headlights and the rear is uh, just a standard rear uh, uh, bulb there. LCD speedo, we've already spoken about that. Uh, you know, giving you your fuel gauge and uh, time, etc. Uh, you know, uh, also a uh, trip A and B on there as well. So yeah, uh, what else can I tell you? It's got some. There are three different colours. Uh, this this one being the the pearl jasmine white colour. Uh, they do another another colour which is matte techno silver metallic and a Poseidon black metallic and uh, all at 2,849 is the recommended retail price as per the Honda website. So what else can I tell you? Uh, oh, looks like someone's had a little bit of a spill here, a bit of a scuff there on the side. Uh, oh, and look, foot pegs here as well uh, for your pillion pas passenger on the rear there. 
oil dipstick here what else have we, have we got yeah oh, so it's not nice nice color this one uh, nice metallic color there uh, we'll have a look under the seat shall we so here we go fuel filler cap there uh, looks like there's enough room under here for your helmet uh, obviously I'm not going to get more in there. I've got my camera on so I'm, and I'm talking through the through the camera microphones I'm not going to take it off <laughs> tool kit here basic tools uh, yeah nice little slot there filler cap for your fuel we'll close this down that will lock actually when you uh, move away from the bike nice little hook there as well if you wanted to hang your shopping bag on what else have we got nice little bark chrome to bar ends there yeah not bad at all eh not bad at all like I say it's a lot of, lot of bike really for you know for what you're going to actually pay for uh, for this machine really it's got a centre stand there as well the look of it we'll have a go at that oh yeah no issues with the centre stand uh, obviously I'll struggle a bit there because I've got the camera in my hand but there you go another other side peg there yeah all very good okay so that's the bike in the flesh anyway I think we should jump back on and ride some more yeah very very uh very smooth you know no issues uh you know on the on the control of the throttle there indicator on seat does feel a little bit hard I must admit compared to what I'm used to you know not not outrageously hard on the jack seat but a little bit plenty of room on the rear there for your pillion passenger you know when you actually get your license or if you've already got your license and you want to take a pillion on the back very enjoyable ride oh a little bit of sunshine trying to poke through there lovely <laughs> indicator off well, so for leaving them on I say if you're an existing subscriber you'll be aware of that I do talk about that a lot mind you on my Triumph I do have self cancelling indicators which uh, you can notice that when I ride other bikes I, I tend to leave them on and it's not really a good thing to do but there you go so yeah let me know I'll be interested in your thoughts in the comments on uh, you know what you think of the machine have you you know do you own one have you had any trouble with one or you know could you see yourself test riding or you know buying one let me know It'd be much appreciated let me know in the comments and well, I'm certainly enjoying the little ride out today can't grumble at all I thought you know unless it only if it was a little bit warmer that'd be nice but hello sir no nod from the biker so because I'm on a little moped or I don't know I generally nod to everybody mind you I'm a friendly biker <laughs> well anyway thanks for joining me on this uh, first ride review and uh, like I say really do appreciate you joining me hit the old subscribe button hit the like button that's very important if you're enjoying the content you know it promotes the channel promotes the video uh, yeah we much appreciate if you do that and hopefully I'll see you on the next video so take care see you soon